Okay, so now we want to talk about calculating the distance between two points. So we need, we need a formula to do this. So let's take a look at trying to derive a formula for ourselves here. So suppose you have a Cartesian grid here, right? And let's suppose I have a line. Here's my line. And let's say this is my point A and this is my point B. Okay, my goal and our goal here is to find the distance from point A to B, right? I want to find the distance of that line. Well, let's label this with a D. Okay, here's how you derive a formula for this. Make yourself a triangle below. So I'm going to go here, then I'm going to go here. Okay, make yourself a little triangle. Now, I don't know what the first point is, so I'm going to label it x1, y1. I don't know what the second point is. I want it to be arbitrary. I'm going to label it x2, y2. I need to be able to find the length from here to here, and I want to find the length from here to here. Well, what would the length from here to here be? Right? How would I find this length? I know that the distance from this point all the way down, all the way up to the top is going to be y2. This would be have a height of y2. And likewise, this has a height of y1. But this is a perfectly horizontal line. So that means the distance from here to here is, all, is y1. And the distance from here to here is y2. So therefore, if I take y2 minus y1, we would, have, we would be finding the distance of this line segment. Using the same logic, I'm going to take x2 minus x1, and that's going to represent the distance of this line segment. So now there's something special about the triangle we've created. We've created a right angle triangle. And the reason for that is this line is perfectly vertical and this line is perfectly horizontal, meaning these meet at 90 degrees. So now we have a right angle triangle, and I actually know, we know, the one leg of the triangle is x2 minus x1, and the length of the other leg of the triangle is y2 minus y1, and I want to find the distance between them. Well, this is at this point here, we can use Pythagorean theorem. What does Pythagorean theorem say? Well, it says the hypotenuse squared is the sum of the squares of the legs of the triangle. So therefore, I can take my square root, and now we have a formula derived for the distance between any two points. Okay? So right here, this, what this finds here, what this formula finds right here, is given any two points, you do this calculation, and you'll find the distance between them. Okay, so let's look at an example uh, using this distance formula here. So I want to find the distance between these two points. What you do is uh, label your first point x1, y1 and label your second point x2, y2, all right? If you want, you can draw a little sketch for yourself. You can kind of see where everything's at roughly, but it's not necessary. The point uh, 2, 6, maybe it's right about here, and the point 5, 2 is maybe right about here. So there's P and Q. Now, one thing to note here is that it doesn't matter what you label as the first point and what you label as the second point. If I'm finding the distance from P to Q, that's going to be the same distance as, you, as from Q to P. So that's illustrating the formula. It doesn't matter. I could have labeled this point x1, y1, and I could have labeled this point x2, y2. Okay, so our goal here is to find the distance. So I'm going to find the distance of p, q. So what is that equal to? Well, that's equal to x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Well, what's my x2? My x2 is 5, and my minus my x1 is 2 squared plus... My y2 is 2 minus my y1 is 6 squared, in which case here we get uh, 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. And now that becomes 3 squared is 9, and this uh, negative 4 quantity squared is 16, in which case this is root 25, and the root of 25 is 5. So it turns out the distance between uh, points P and Q is 5. Now some things to watch out here that I want to make note of. Notice I kept my brackets around these expressions. The 2 minus 6, I left as negative 4. It is negative 4, but I left the brackets around that term because they should be left. Because this power of 2 is being applied to what's inside the brackets. If you didn't do that and you would have left this as negative 4 squared, you would have actually put this down as negative 16, which is not the case. It's actually positive 16, as you saw um, in the example. And that would have thrown your length off. So be mindful of that that you have to keep your brackets around, and this power of 2 is applied to what's inside the brackets. Okay, so in this example here, the length from P to Q is 5. Okay, let's take a look at this question here. So this is asking me to find the distance 
um, and slope, they add the term and slope from uh, the point G to the point H. Okay, let's focus on distance first. Um, so let's do a little sketch. You don't have to sketch this, but I think sometimes it's nice to see kind of where you're at. So maybe a rough sketch, G, the point G is right here, and then maybe one three is somewhere right about here. And our interest is calculating the slope uh, between these two lines and the length. Okay, let's focus on length here, the distance. Okay, so like I said in the previous example, I can label this x1, y1. I can label this x2, y2. So in this case here, x1, y1, x2, y2. So my distance formula, the distance from g to h or h to g, it's all the same, is going to be x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Okay, so let's take a look here. x1 is 0, or sorry, I should say x2 I'm looking for. x2 is 1 and x1 is 0 plus y2 is 3 minus Watch the double minus sign here, negative 7. So notice here I did 3 minus, because that's part of the formula, my y value. Well, my y value is negative 7, so I put that in. Okay. So this becomes 1 squared plus 3 minus negative 7 is 10 squared. And we end up getting 1 plus 100 is the square root of 101. Okay, so if you put the square root of 101 in your calculator, you get approximately 10.05 units. Okay, and this would be an example of the distance from point G to H. Okay, so now that we have the distance calculated, I want to calculate the slope as well. It's important to calculate the slope um, just so you distinguish the difference between these two things. The length of a line segment and the slope of a line segment are not the same thing. So we've calculated the length of the line segment. To calculate the slope, you know from grade 9 that the slope of a line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, I know that my y2, and we've, I'm just using my labeled points here, well, y2 is going to equal 3 minus negative 7 over 1 minus 0, and we end up getting 10 over 1, so the slope here is 10, which you would expect. Like, looking at the graph, if you take a look at the at the actual graph itself, you can see here the slope of this line is going to be positive because it's increasing and also a fairly large number because it is a steep line. Okay? So in this example here to remind you guys, slope can be positive, slope can be, can be negative. Your distance is always a positive number. Okay? And in this situation, you'll see that the, like, the distance and the slope came out to be almost the same number. Uh, that's complete coincidence. Uh, and generally, that doesn't happen. So don't try to draw any conclusions uh, between these two. All right, let's look at this next example here. Uh, for this one here, it says, uh, is the following triangle scalene? So they use these terms here. Is it scalene? Is it equilateral? Or is it isosceles? If you remember here, I don't know if you guys remember this, a scalene triangle has uh, no lengths the same. Right, when you're talking about a scalene triangle, none of the lengths of those triangles are the same. Whereas an isosceles triangle has two lengths the same. And lastly, you can probably guess, an equilateral, equilateral triangle is all lengths are the same. So this is a, clearly an argument of length. And this argument of length will be found using your uh, distance formula. Now for these geometry problems, it is useful to draw a little grid for yourself and kind of plot where these points are, are roughly. So this is the point A. Then the point B is maybe somewhere about here. We'll draw the point B. And then the point C is somewhere down here. And this is like a rough sketch of our points. So connecting this up. And again, even though it looks right angled, we don't really know it's right angled, um, but that's not even our concern right now. We're only interested in length. So what we want to do here is I want to actually calculate the distance of each of these lines. I want to find, let's label this C. I want to find the distance from A to C, A to B, and B to C. And then I want to decide whether I have a scalene triangle, equilateral triangle, or isosceles triangle. 
Okay, well, let's start off and let's calculate the distance from A to B. So I'll label this x1, y1, and I'll label this x2, y2. So therefore, the distance from A to B is going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared is going to be the square root of negative 4 squared plus negative 1 squared, and that becomes 16 plus 1 is the square root of 17. And that's the distance of line segment AB is root 17. Okay, let's try it again with another one. Now let's calculate the distance from, so I know that this is root 17. Let's calculate the distance from B to C. So the dif distance from B to C, so let's calculate the distance from B to C. Let's relabel our uh, points here. So if I'm going from B to C, I'm going to label this x1, y1, and likewise I'll label this x2, y2. So the dis distance from B to C is going to be 0 minus negative 1 squared plus negative 2 minus 2 squared. And again, you have to be really careful with the minus signs here. I get 1 squared plus negative 4 squared. And again, we're going to get root 17. So this triangle is not scalene. It could be isosceles or it could be equilateral. We have to check uh, with the final one. So the distance of B to C is root 17. So let's see. Now I want to calculate the distance of A to C. All right, again, relabel your points. And I want to calculate the distance of A to C. So I'll label this x1, y1, and I'll label this x2, y2. So therefore, we have here 0 minus 3 quantity squared plus negative 2 minus 3 quantity squared is going to be the square root of negative 3 squared plus negative 5 squared is going to be 9 plus 25 is square root of 34. So in this case here, we can see the hypotenuse um, is larger than the legs here, and we have ourselves an isosceles triangle. So the answer to this, because I now know this is root 34, the answer here is this triangle is isosceles. All right, that concludes the video here talking about the distance between two points. Please review uh, these concepts here. You'll notice here, try to, try to understand how we got our distance formula, how that was derived, and then our application uh, of that to find the distance between any two points.